Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Right, we see what the cities look like. Amberland just pulled off. Fire truck just pulled off. We see what this stuff has become normal to us, but Bring it's not it normal. Bring it we are kings and right. priests and princesses. You understand? This is not normal for uh, that's not normal for a princess to witness police sirens and and uh, uh, fire trucks and ambulances every day, all day. Right. That's not normal. But God said, because you don't want to do what I told you to do, I'm gonna make it normal for you. I'm gonna make that your reality, since you want to continue to break my rules. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So that's the point right there. It shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen if you don't listen to my commandments, if you don't hearken, if you don't observe and do the Sabbath day. That what? I command you this day oh. that all these curses and all these what these curses so that all these curses read on shall come upon thee are gonna come upon us uh-huh and overtake and thee. overtake us my brother right here how you doing my bro yes, sir. would yes, you sir. say say it again what's your name Steve-o bro Steve-o how yeah. you doing I'm Mordecai right. I'm out here I'm teaching uh I'm teaching Mike and um, Aunt about the Lord's Sabbath days and the truth of the Bible. You want is that something you want to hear? You want, is that your daughter? Yeah, this is my daughter right here. Yeah, that's your daughter right here, man. All praises, man. Um, look, we bringing out the truth of the Bible. God said that we wasn't if we didn't keep His commandments. A commandment I brought out was the Sabbath day. He said if we don't keep the Sabbath day, that curses were going to come upon our people. Would you say our people are cursed or blessed in this land? Curse. Curse. So we just gave an example of how, of one of the commandments that God gave us that would put us under the curses, keeping the Sabbath day. But remember, there's no truth in this land. We talked about that, that we don't have any truth out here, right? There's no truth. So we have to go back to the Bible to get the truth, to know what, what uh, God's commandments are, to know what God wants from us so that we can, get, we can do that and get from under the curses. That's you understand? Right. Bring it out. So, uh, where are you going? Keep on reading, keep on reading. Verse 16, uh -huh. cursed shalt thou be in the city. So God says we're gonna be cursed in, in the city of Chicago. So now, when you read 16 on down, it's gonna go through all of the different curses that were gonna come upon our people, that have already come upon our people for breaking his commandments. You understand? So these are the curses, read. Cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed, we're gonna be in the city. Right, we see what the cities look like. Ambulance just pulled off. Fire truck just pulled off. We see what this stuff has become normal to us, but Bring it's not it normal. Bring it we are kings and right. priests and princesses. You understand? This is not normal for uh, that's not normal for a princess to witness police sirens and and uh, uh, fire trucks and ambulances every day, all day. Right. That's not normal. But God said, because you don't want to do what I told you to do, I'm gonna make it normal for you. I'm gonna make that your reality, since you want to continue to break my rule. You understand? Uh, read on. Curse shall thou beat thy basket in thy store. God said he's gonna curse our basket and our store. Our bank account stay on negative. That's what that's going into. Our baskets and our store is going into our, our, uh, our, the food that we have, our bank accounts, uh, 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 savings, and, and uh, we're supposed to have plentiful. We're supposed to be a plentiful people, have abundance and trade back and forth with each other. We don't have a dime. We ask to borrow money from people we know don't even have money. You give me $20. You know I ain't got $20. You trying to take my last dub. You know what I'm saying? So God said that that was going to be one of the curses that befell our people. Because when you look at other, when you look at the other nations, they don't have those problems. You only see those problems amongst the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We at the bottom. Right. We in poverty. That, that, give me uh, a sign, what's that, 45? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. 46. 46. 
We are the people that are going through these atrocities that's suffering every day. We the people that stressed out gray hairs at 30. It's stressful. We live very, very stressful lives, but it's become normal to us. But it's not normal. God says, look, if you listen to me, I'm going to raise you back up to your Godship status. You understand? Read. Verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Uh -huh. Start at 45. Verse 45. Uh -huh. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. Uh -huh. Till thou be destroyed. Till we what? Till thou be destroyed. So my sister, where'd she go? She was over here. She said um, something about it. She was free. She said that. I know because she's like the chains are off our necks, right? The chains, the shackles are off our ankles, right? Come look at these pictures, yo. So she's like, she's in her mind, she's like, I'm free. I don't have a yoke of iron on my neck anymore. Mass are not whipping me physically anymore. So I must be free. But God said we were going to be destroyed. So those chains and shackles came off when we were destroyed mentally as a people. They knew that, okay, we got these Negroes now. Take the chains off, they ain't going nowhere. They not about to do nothing but kill each other. They ain't about to do nothing but, but, but fight and beef among each other. They ain't thinking about us. Take the chains off, we destroyed them mentally. They don't know who they are. They don't know who their God is. They don't know who they supposed to, what they supposed to be doing. We got them. They destroyed, we don't. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And they go to reason again. It's a consequence to every action. That's the action. Because we didn't listen to God and always tell us what the reason is. On, he don't have us out here lost and wondering. It's not a mystery. God is telling us. Because what? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because you didn't listen to me, read. To keep his commandments. To keep the commandments, the Sabbath day, the dietary laws. All of the laws that are in this book, read on. And his statutes, and his which, statutes. Uh -huh. which he commanded thee. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee and for these, a, And these curses shall what? Shall be upon thee uh -huh. for a sign. For and what? For a sign. For a sign, uh-huh. And for a wonder. What does a sign tell you? You mind if I ask your daughter? Princess, what's your name? Micah. Micah, what does a sign tell you or show you? So she's like, where are you at, right? Well, where are you going? That sign says fish foods and Madison foods and fish market. So that sign tells me that's a store, right? Right. So God said that the curses was going to be on us for a sign. So we can look in, in today and say, you know what? This Bible is talking about me. That's right. I'm at the bottom. I'm cursed. Right. All right, Mike. Y'all get flyers? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Call that phone number on the back. So the, God is telling us, look, these curses are a sign. Because nobody else is going through this. All right? Read. And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy seed forever till we repent and keep the commandments. Until Christ returns. Because Christ is the only one that can deliver us from uh, uh, these atrocities that we're going through. All right? Read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with uh -huh. joyfulness uh -huh. and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Uh -huh. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, uh -huh. in hunger, uh -huh. and in thirst, uh -huh. and in nakedness, uh -huh. and in want of all things. Uh -huh. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Read it again from the top. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies. So God said we're going to serve our enemies now. Because we didn't hearken to his commandments, we didn't do his commandments. Now we're going to serve our enemies. This is how we served our enemies. We're still serving them today. We're still at the bottom, punching the clock, keeping this place a lot of afloat, right? We doing it to get a check, but at the same time, it's keeping them running. It's keeping their operation going. You understand? Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So God sent the other nations against us. It wasn't because they were stronger than us, or smarter than us, or wittier, or whatever. God said, I'm going to send, I'm going to put the spirit on them to conquer you. Read on. All right, brother. All right, brother. Real, real quick, let me give you a... Uh, you got a flyer? Yep. Let me show you something real quick. You too, Robert, real quick. Real quick, where y'all go? Read on. In hunger, uh -huh. and in thirst, mm -hmm. and in nakedness, mm -hmm. and in want of all things, uh -huh. and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck uh -huh. until he had destroyed thee. Until he had destroyed us mentally. So now we mentally destroyed. All right, now we don't know who we are. We call ourselves black, African, American, Hispanic, etc., and not the Israelites keeping the commandments of God.
generation is men leading by example. 